Hey everybody, Earthy Wise Woman here, and I'm here to give you your daily reading on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. But before I start, I had, I'm sorry about that, I had someone make a point or a, um, a comment, and I didn't fully agree with it, so I'm going to share it with you. And what the comment was, was that um, there are no more men's groups where men get together and they talk about the issues that males have. And there are no more women's groups where women get together and talk. And the main reason why the person stated this is because most of us live in cities, metropolitans, where we tend not to really have close relationships like in a small rural community. And you know, I had to disagree because I realized that community is everywhere and people uh, who we talk with or connect with are also everywhere. And the reason I say this is a couple of weeks ago, I uh, went with my daughter to the nail shop to get her nails done. And I'm looking around and I'm looking at women talking, talking about their children, talking about their careers talking about these things in general. And I'm like, wow, oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay. And um, I just, um, you know, clocked that up to, well, that's cool. When I went to um, get my hair done, I noticed that there were women in the uh, beauty parlor talking, communicating about the same issues, issues that were concerning us as women, as mothers, as uh, partners. And I'm like, oh, okay. When my son goes to the barber shop, he came back and he mentioned those he spoke with and what they were doing and how their family was. One guy got a promotion, another guy was looking for a new job. Um, they were given information out on where they could go to um, get a job. And they were connecting with male energy. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Even though this is not um, something that is, um, I don't know, we, well, this is where you go to have male energy. Or this is the place we women go to connect with our women. It is still an organization of a form. It is a casual one, but it's still the connecting of women with women energy and male with male energy. So we still have it, even in an urban community. You know, we don't exactly advertise it, but it is there and it is real. And um, the divine feminine is all around us. The divine masculine is all around us. You know, when you go get your tires changed, Gentlemen, you talk. Um, women, when we go, and I've done it, when we've gone to, say, the grocery store, or um, the other day I went to the fabric store, you talk. Um, I pick up new pattern ideas, or a new recipe, or the thing about, or, you know, gentlemen, you find out where that part is missing on your car or what was the best car that year for this or that or the other. And it's even more than that. Or uh, uh, someone will tell you, you know, your wife is out of town and what is the proper way to feed or, or to change or whatever your children. The thing is, we do have community. And don't ever think we don't. We do. Even in this urban environment, we're really not cut off one from the other. So I just want you to know, to embrace the idea that the divine male and the divine female is all around us. All you have to do is touch it. It is always there. And men, ladies, never fear the idea of going up to someone who's a little older, a little wiser, uh, the wiser woman or the matriarch woman um, or for gentlemen, the father figure and asking questions. You know, I think that from the energies I've picked up, more people will answer your question than push you off, you know, because people are basically good. 
And anything that has gotten us suspicious or fearful generally is a few in society who are deviants in behaviors and actions. The few should not dictate to the many because community is important. Community is everything in a way. Okay. I just wanted to add that little tidbit. And after the reading, I, I am going to bring up an herb. At least I'm going to try to. <laughs> we'll see how this reading goes. And the reason I say that is the cards I pulled today was so intense. I took notes. I took notes. Um, because these cards have greater meaning than just, oh, there's love in your life. I don't like general readings like that because they don't tell you much about what's going on in the atmosphere. And the way my cards fell today, it is an affirmation of the concept of as above, so below. So let's go to the first card, which is as, if you guys have been following my readings, is the microcosm. So it's the general universe above us, how deity is coming down upon us, and how it's affecting us. The reason I said I took notes today was the card was strength. Okay, I'm going to get that a little closer. That's strength. And why is that important? I, strength means confronting. And usually it means things that we may not want to confront. Okay? Or another way of looking at it is finding the man behind the curtain. I like that one. Where we have been going through relative ideas and certain rituals and, you know, our day-to-day -day action without questioning. And now in our environment, especially this time of year, it's not uncommon because we're going into the dark time where we're starting to question, well, why are we doing these things? Why are we needing to do these things? Am I not looking within myself to discover what's going on? Because strength, as it uh, affects the male divine, generally is someone who has been men. This is for you now who has been basically doing enough to appease his mate. Um, not questioning, not rocking the boat, just doing what he feels he needs to do in order to keep the peace and to get by. And that has its place. But after all, it ain't healthy to keep doing that. After a while, you have got to say something. So as far as the male divine in this card... Men, you need to be a little selfish this time. And what I mean by that is you need to put your feelings out there to yourself and recognize, I need to do this for me. I need to do this for me. Um, because I'm going to tell you something. The more you do for you in a constructive manner, you are actually improving your relationship with your woman or your partner. You are actually improving it because a happier you will in turn make a happier them. So gentlemen, I don't want you to just do enough to get by. I want you to consider your partnership in this because the strength card means you need to step up and deal with your mess, good or bad. You need to step up and confront women. This goes for you too. You need to step up. This is a collective card. This is a collective thing. We all... I like this sounds better. We all need to step up and deal with the issues that we have not been confronting. They don't just have to be on a personal level or a relationship level. This also means a social level. People, we need to step up and confront the issues we have been avoiding. Okay? Can't emphasize that enough. And this is on a microcosm. Now, the reason why I say as above, so below, and today, it really stresses it. Today, it's almost like the amen to that saying, because the next card is the chariot. Now, this is a significant thing. I'm going to tell you why. Because in this I'm reading from is the major iconos, which is the major part of the tarot deck. Now, the strength card is number eight. But the chariot card, ironically, I don't think so, is number seven. So as above, which is the strength card, the chariot is as below. 
Now, what do we need to understand about the chariot card? The conflicts that we have been avoiding will come up and it's going to bite us in the butt or it's just going to reveal itself. So these things that we need to confront, the microcosm is telling us, oh, you're going to confront it. Circumstances are going to come into place where women, you're going to have to talk to your man, your boss, your significant other. Um, you're going to have to confront things you have been putting off. This is men and women because it's going to come up to bite at us. It's going to nip at us. We need to confront these things. And we need to, on a feminine, divine, and male divine level, what this means is things that we know that we need to do on a spiritual basis. And what could that mean? Sometimes it could mean changing a diet in order to feel better within our souls and spirits. Because what we eat does touch our bodies, which does touch our spirit. Because everything touches everything. So if you guys have been putting off, oh, yeah, we're going to drink more water. Oh, but let me have a Diet Coke. Uh-uh. Come on. You know what you need to do for your, your spirit's sake and for your body's sake. Because they intertwine people. So do it. Please do it. Because one touches the other. And don't think they don't. So you cannot separate the spirit out from the mundane or the body, thinking one has nothing to do with the other. One has everything to do with the other. The macrocosm and the microcosm, as I've said before, they come together as one. That's what makes the earth go around, I like to think. It's part of the reasoning. Now, let's get on to the male divine, the masculine divine. And the card that, gentlemen, you got today is the star. I want you to take a look at that. I don't think I even showed the chariot as well as I should have. The reason why I like the star is for a, a, a male, it means it's all right to shine. Okay? Masculine, my gods out there, listen to me, men. I want you to step into yourself and take responsibility for your happiness today. And don't assign it to your lady or your partner. Take it within yourself and step up and realize you need to do things to make yourself happy. Do not assign your happiness to someone else. This is your potato. So you need to step up and say, you know something? I need to do this to make me happy. And you need to communicate this to your partner or your woman. This is what you need to make yourself happy. Now, it is very difficult for a lot of people to be selfish. And yet, being selfish is a part of life. And we sometimes need to be selfish. Not to the extent of hurting or harming another individual. No. But to the extent of our own self-survival. We do need to be selfish. And I don't want people to dismiss that. Because in dismissing the idea that you can only be selfless, your balance will be totally thrown off. Because lately, men, you have been trying very hard to be uh, compensating to your women. And that's wonderful. But if you don't learn to take care of yourself, you're going to take it out on your woman that she is not giving everything to you. Okay, so the balance is this. Give to your woman. Absolutely. But please... Give to yourself. That is also just as important, if not more important. Give to you. Because the more you have within yourself, the more you can give to your lady and your partner. And you need to realize that as a divine masculine, as a God. Remember, you're only as good to give as you are in giving to yourself. An empty bowl of water cannot feel a man's thirst. You got to have water in that bowl. Drink up. <laughs> okay, let us get over to the, to the feminine divine, which is today the sun. Okay, I want you to take a look at that. It's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. I find it interesting it's the sun because the sun usually is a masculine image. 
But the sun fell upside down today for us females. Divine women, goddesses, listen to me now. You need to stop assigning your happiness to your partners and your men. You need to take control of your happiness. I don't want any more self-pity today. Don't waddle in the why me. I'm having a really bad day. You know something? Hug yourself. Realize that you need a little bit of TLC. I want you to go home to your partner or, and your man and just say, Honey, I had a bad day. I did. I had a bad day. And I need a hug. Don't take it out on them. Don't yell at them because the laundry wasn't done or the house wasn't picked up or the kids didn't get their dinner. Just say, I'm having a really bad day and I really could use some emotional support. Okay? You won't get what you need unless you tell a person what it is that you need. That's very important. So I want you to remember that, okay? Because right now the micro and the and the micro and the ma and the macrocosm is telling us that number one, we need to deal with our stuff, and number two, we're not going to be able to avoid that. It's going to have to be handled. And the reason why is because the earth is going into the darker times where the days are going to be shorter, the nights are going to be longer. More intimacy among our partners and ourselves. More time for reflection. And it can be reflection in a wonderful way where we realize, you know, you know, because the end of the year is coming, I need to work on these issues or that issue. So you can beat yourself up and say, why didn't I work on these issues? Stop. Don't beat yourself up. Take a deep breath and just gradually deal with these issues, okay? Remember, gentlemen, it's we're in a society now where I know that we have been living in a patriarchal society where men ruled, and yet they didn't rule because there was a lot of insecurity among men. And the reason is because it was a misbalance between our feminine divine and our masculine divine. And what that is is Prior, I would say maybe about 4,000 years ago, men and women have worked in unison. And it wasn't one was better than the other, or one was topped and the other was bottom. They worked together in unison. And along the way, as time has gone on, that has been distorted. Where if a man isn't a he-man, he's not a man. Or if a woman is not a... A woman having a thousand and one, um, that's exaggerating, having two or three children, she's not a real woman. And that's not true. Now we're in a time in this millennia where we are finally redefining who and what we are as the divine. And we realize there are archetypes of the divine in all cultures. Okay? And we need to embrace that. There is no wrong and there is no right. There just simply is. And we are now learning to finally come back as partners, as deity, and learning to find the partnership, not one over the other, but a oneness separate and complete within ourselves, and yet coming together as a complete whole, which is a really great blessing. Mm. So on that note, we will pick up again tomorrow. And find out what the macro and the microcosm is telling to us as divine beings. And I want to close this with a blessing to all people. Let deity shine within you so that you can shine upon others. And on that note, I just want to say blessed be. And from Earthy Wise Woman, you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.